Welcome to the news from Sanctuary. In today's special edition, we will have a look at the world boss fight, featuring Ashava the Pestilent. The battle occurs every three hours and was made it harder for players to beat Ashava, as max level during the server slam was capped at level 20. To say that the fight was difficult would be unfair because it was largely dependent on gear setup and maxing out poison resistance of which I have done none, and I went in blindly. Oh no. Oh no, not again. The strategy that I learned post this fight was to stay near Ashava's derriere, which did not help during my first attempt. In my second attempt I only died three times, but as a team we were not successful in downing the pestilent one. Oh no, not again. And again. And again. And again. And again. As you can see here in multiple examples, every time you die during the fight, your gear loses 10% durability, and you'll notice that towards the end of the fight, I was working with some of the broken gear, but nevertheless, we succeeded in downing the monster. And again, Oh no, not again.
and again. The really cool thing about the bosses in Diablo 4 is our new stagger systems. This means that you can bring your control effects into fights against bosses, like your stuns, your freezes, and chills. When you apply them to bosses, it builds up your stagger bar. When it's filled, the boss becomes staggered. And again, And again. What this means is that for each boss they design, they build some unique behavior. So when you stagger a Shava, you can break of its arm blades. And this changes the whole fight because the giant sweeping attacks it performs are greatly reduced in their range and areas in the battleground that were dangerous become safer. In fact, if you stagger a Shava multiple times, you can break off both arm blades, and this changes the remainder of the fight. And again. And again. And again. 
and again. Finally, after a lengthy fight, the meat bag fell and it is time to collect the loot. The fight netted some upgrades to my gear. Hope you enjoyed the Server Slam edition of the news from the Sanctuary. Please comment, like, and subscribe for more Diablo-related content and check out the short section for previous episodes. And as always, may Lilith bless your loot drops. Good night and take care of each other.